Happy Friday! Happy Friday! How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well. I'm sure lots of people have been going out and about trying to find some shopping sales. 요즘 저 고민인 게 핸드폰 작년에 샀거든요. 작년 음. 1월에 샀는데 1월 1일에 샀거든요. 한 달도 지나지 못했는데 깨졌어요. Actually. Oh no! And so I can't use the front camera. Oh no! <laughs> 아, 망가져가지고 front cam 1년 동안 못 썼어요. So no selka. So no selka. <laughs> None at all. And so I've been trying to get a new phone. 이제 사과 12 나왔잖아요. <laughs> 근데 또 새로 사기에 좀 비싸고 and You know, there's always these different terms that you don't know. Yeah, can put them through the kitemene. I can mangsori the rock oil. It's not an easy purchase. Sure. Yeah. It's not one we do often either, which That's is, right. I guess, good. All right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so today we're talking all about um, shopping for mobile phones. Mm-hmm. And there are lots of things that you need to know, especially when it comes to payment plans and. 그런 게 조금 헷갈릴 수도 있는 분들 위해서 저희가 준비해 봤습니다. Well, it is a big purchase, so it's there's lots to think about and also it just buying it doesn't solve everything. There sure. are other things that we have to do. That's so, right. Well, cell phones are called handphone 핸드폰이죠. 그래서 <웃음> 핸드폰 구매하시는 분들 위해서 저희가 준비해 봤습니다. 어, 오늘의 퀴즈입니다. 약정 기간 만료 전 계약을 해지하면 지급해야 하는 요금이 뭘까요? 약정 기간 만료 전 계약을 해지하면 지급해야 하는 요금. So it's the fee that you have to pay when you cancel the plan before the contract ends. 1번 할부 원금, 2번 공시 지원금, 3번 위약 다시 한번 1번 할부 원금, 2번 공시 지원금, 3번 위약금. 정답 아시는 분들은 샵 1013으로 단문 50원, 장문 100원 유료 문자 보내 주시면 축하 기념으로 커피 쿠폰 드리겠습니다. All right, well let's get to it. Yeah, um, well, we'll think about the question. All right. <laughs> uh, well, there are so many words that describe cell phones. It's handphone and 휴대폰 are the basic ones, but these days they're called smartphone. 그렇죠. And, and of they course, are smart. we know handphone, smart. We know all those words, but 휴대, 휴대폰. It's 휴대. 휴대 means to carry around. Mobile. Mobile. Um, portable. Portable. That's right. So there are. You can use that word with other words combined, like 휴대용 스피커. 아, 그렇죠. 휴대용 청소기, which is very convenient, cordless and small. 휴대용 선풍기, we see a lot of people carrying them around in the summer. That's right. Portable fans. Yes. And these days, 휴대용 공기 청정기. Oh, wow. Have you seen them? They're the size of a little, like a water bottle. Tumbler. 그래서 한 번, 한번 샀는데요. 이차 안에서도 음. 미세먼지가 들어올 수 있기 때문에 그렇죠. 이런 휴대용 portable uh, air purifier. Mm-hmm. People use it. them in the car or in the office right next to your desk. Right. What a world we live in. Things, yeah. Sure, 정말 신세계죠. <laughs> And then there are new words related to smartphones. Smombi. Smombi. Have you heard that one? I'm guessing it has to do with zombies. Yeah, smartphone zombies. Good job. We can guess what that means. This is actually not a Korean word. It's a worldwide expression. So obviously, it's a worldwide problem. Um, are you a smombi? Um, not, not a lot. 근데, uh, 멍 때리기는 잘 못하는데, I guess I do daydream a lot, but I daydream while I'm on my phone. Oh. So even, <laughs> even, I'm 멍 때리기는 while I'm distracting You're myself. You're multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> And so even when I'm trying to, you know, read a book or do my homework, mm-hmm. I find myself reaching for my phone and just staring at whatever I'm scrolling down. Yeah, and just time goes by so fast when you're just really looking at your phone. But the really dangerous zombies are the walking ones. That's right. The walking zombies. Right. And these days, some, some cities have like those um, um, uh, walk, crosswalks, lights on the ground. 
because so many people have their heads facing down. That's true. I don't know how much that could help because we're just so captivated by our smartphones. I know, I know. It's it's a good idea. It's sort of sad that we have to do that. (laughs) It is. Um, But, I mean, there's lots of smombies out there. Yes. Um, But talking about smartphones, Mm -hmm. you can buy a phone of your own and uh, they sell the... Tanmalgi, is that what they call it? Yes, there are two ways of getting your phone ready. And the first one is to buy a Tanmalgi. That's the phone itself. The, just the, and, or Gonggige. Gonggige oh. is an empty machine. Oh. Because, of course, you can actually get it hitched with the Wi Fi and it'll work, but you, it's not a phone yet. Then you have to go to a Tongsinsa to get. actually make it into a phone. That's right. And so you can buy these phones, of course. Um, It won't have any data. It won't have any service. It won't have anything. It's just a machine, a very pretty machine. So the first way you can can do this is to actually buy a phone on your own. They sell 휴대폰 단말기 at electronic stores, department stores, Mm -hmm. online stores, brand stores. And some people actually buy it from abroad, like direct shopping or when they're uh, on a vacation, which... Not many people are doing nowadays, recently. right? Yeah. But you know how, like some years before, we all used different phones. Like Korea used different phones, and Europe they used different phones. But now we're pretty much all using the same phone. Sure, so you can buy it anywhere. That's so true. I think the world has been dominated by two major companies. Two major companies. <laughs> Thankfully, one's from Korea. I know, which really. is very impressive. Definitely. And so, you know, it's either Android or something else, mm-hmm. iOS. And so nowadays, you know, as you said, you can get these phones all over the world and they have different features. And so you might want to get a U.S. feature right. or a Korean feature mm-hmm. and buy it from their respective countries. Definitely. So it's, it's possible. So you can buy your own phone. And when you buy your phone, you can pay it in different ways. You can pay it all at once, which is 일시불, or... have a paid and, and through a monthly installment plan, which is 할부. Mm-hmm. And 할부 can be 3개월 할부, 3 months, or 6개월 할부, 6 months. Which is great. Uh, most of these, usually if it's 3개월, up to 6개월, depending on your credit card, will be interest-free. Right. Which is, I think it's a good thing to do. I a lot think of so, definitely. A lot of financial, you know, savvy <laughs> people will say no, but... Um, well, as long as there's no interest, I think it's, it's not a bad deal. Yeah, I would agree. Well, today we're talking about smartphones and how to connect them and how to, you know, just get yourself to these stores and figure out the plan. 그래서 저희가 준비해봤습니다. 오늘의 퀴즈, 약정 기간 만료 전 계약을 해지하면... 지급해야 하는 요금이 뭘까요? 1번 할부 원금, 2번 공시 지원금, 3번 위약금. If you know the answer, send them on over to Sharp 1013 and win yourself some free coffee. All right, well, let's get to um, some different terms here. Yes, well, if you buy your own phone and then take it to a 통신사 to get it connected, this is called 자급제. It's a self-sufficiency system. And I think you covered 자급 자족 on this program. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I actually heard it. Oh, <laughs> uh, we did? Yeah, I totally remember. 자급 자족 is a self-sufficient lifestyle. Oh, I see. And it's the same 자급 in 자급 자족 and 자급제, basically okay. providing for myself. And so you take the 단말기 to a 통신사 uh, to get it connected. Okay, yeah, there's different options. You get a a phone by itself and then you connect it if you don't want to go through monthly installments or even be mukod by a contract, which many people can be skeptical about. Yes, well, that's the second option. You go to a tungshinsa straight without a phone, And then you buy the phone and connection all at the same time. Right, which is usually what most people do. That's what I've been doing. I didn't really think twice about it. Right, right, right. I thought it was just a good deal, but apparently there are a lot of comparison shoppers around, which I've never done. Right. (laughs) Not much of a queen. And so within that time, you think you're getting a good deal because... generally you actually are, but... Right, right, right. But if you buy a 단말기 for a very good price, like abroad or something, 
then you get a better deal. 그렇죠. 한 10만 원 주고 사면 훨씬 좋죠. <웃음> But nowadays, 핸드폰, 이, 이 스마트폰 요, 어, 가격이 100만 원 넘잖아요. <웃음> 넘죠, 넘죠. And so that's the reason why we go to these 통신사, these uh, carriers, is because they have great deals mm-hmm. and better uh, offers, hopefully. Yes, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> All right, so let's get to some of them. Um, mm-hmm. There's a lot of things to go through. Yes, some terms that we should keep in mind. 개통 is literally means open and connect. And you need to go to 통신사 and you have to ask to 개통 your phone. So you can use it. <laughs> so you can use it. Okay. And other 개통 is like you, a new tunnel is 개통 oh, okay. Or a new train line is 개통 되다. It opens. It's, it's open and it connects oh, something. There you go. And then 공시 지원금 that was in the quiz. This is an official support fund. A fund that pays for a part of your phone. It's um and it's like it differs depending on the telecom service, and it's sort of like a payback. Yes, that's right. Um, what do we call that? Rebate. Rebate. Right. That's right. And so you can get a discount um on either your service, uh, or your plan. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Or you can get a discount on your phone. So yes. there are different types. Mm-hmm. So you have to compare. Next, we definitely want is harin. Harin is discount. Yes. Oh boy. We all you... love harin. I like 50% 이상 <laughs> 할인. 50% 할인. <laughs> That's great. I hate it when they say 최대. And it's 최대. only. I know. And I know. Like, oh, like the rest of the thing, it's like just 50%. 거기 한 물건만 70% 이거 그게 한 10년 전 물건인데. And then they say, oh, it's 그게 상술이죠. To... It's marketing. <laughs> Well, uh, lots of 요금제 payment yes. plans. 요금제 is payment plan. 요금 is fare, fee, or charge. Uh-huh. Basically, the money you pay for a certain service. Okay. So, quiz time for you. Ooh, <laughs> for me. Do I win some coffee as well? Uh, I can make you some. <laughs> <laughs> 집에 가서. 알겠습니다. I'll say a word in English, and, and you tell me the 요금 word Okay. in Korean. Electricity bill. 전기. 전기 요금. 요금. Yes. 맞나요? Ooh. Gas bill. This is the gas, not the gasoline for the car, but the gas that we use at home. Not not the 휘발유. Not the 휘발유. Not the the Rube 9. Not the, <laughs> not the bang. This is the gas, yes. gas oh, we I use know for this cooking. One. 그냥 가스 아니에요? 맞아요. 가스. 아, 그래요? <laughs> <laughs> gas. Gas 요금제. Gas 요금. Good yes. job. Parking fee. Um, this is the worst. 제일 아까워 하잖아요. Oh. It is the 주차, 주차 요금제. Yay! Train fare. Train, 지하철 요금제? 지하철 or 기차. 기차, 그렇죠. 기차, 기차 요금. Difference between subway and train. <laughs> I should know. Last one, bus fare. Bus. 맞나요? Bus 요금. Bus 요금. <laughs> 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 So it's all sort of different in English, you know, bill, fare, fee, but it's all yogum in Korean. Ah, oh, that's right. Your ticket fare mm-hmm. uh, compared to your ticket fee. Ta yogum. Yes. All right. Well, it seems like there's a lot of different yogum. They have a family plan. Yes, there's a family plan. 가족 결합 요금제. 결합 is to combine something. Mm-hmm. So yes, 가족 is to have the whole family under the same telecom service, and you get a discounted payment plan. Right, and 저 같은 경우는, I think we have 5, 5,000 won per person. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a great deal. That is a good deal. 그래서 합치면 만 5,000 won save가 돼요. <laughs> and 기분 좋아져요. Of course, anything little, any little discount. How do you know we love? Sure. And then there's the 결합 요금제, just a regular com- combined payment plan. And it combines TV, internet, Home phone oh, and right. mobile right. all together. Because right. you, know, you have to pay separately for them anyway. So 결합 요금제, you go, all go under the same same company and you get a discount. Yeah. Oh, 들어오는 문자가 있는데요. 안타깝습니다. 0455님께서 <웃음> 문자 보내주신데요. 어쩔 수 없이 이사 가야 했는데 TV, 인터넷, 결합 요금제. 위약금 대박. 짱짱짱짱짱. Yes, that's the... That's the. Um, I'm so crap. sorry. 그러니까요. Yes. 
2021님께서는 저 28일이면 약정 할인 갱신을 해야 하는데 고민되네요. 한달 데이터 12일 기가에 요금이 한달 7만 원으로 싸진 않은데 딱히 더 좋은 걸못 찾아서 유지하고 있어서 <웃음> 주변에서 어, 호구라고 하네요. 우, 우, 바꿔야 할지 말지 모르겠어요. 라고 보냈습니다. 11, 11 gigs for 7만 원 for 70,000 won. 나쁘진 않은 것 같아요. I, I gotta look at mine. I think mine is 무제한. Mm-hmm. I mean, they say 무제한, but they say it's around like 40 or 30 mm-hmm. or 40, 40 gigabytes for 거의 비슷하게 7만 원 그렇게 쓰고 있는데요. I think that would also depend on how much you put down front. Right, right. For your phone mm-hmm. or... 그렇기 때문에... 아, 어려워요. 어렵습니다. Well, we have to give our quiz one more time for our listeners. 오늘의 퀴즈 약정 기간 만료 전 어, 계약을 해지하면 지급해야 되는 요금이 뭘까요? 1번 할부 원금, 2번 공시 지원금, 3번 위약금. Well, I'm sure lots of people are messaging in and we're getting some uh, correct answers. So keep on sending them over. We'll give you guys some free coffee. Yes. Well, finally, we are going to talk about something very close to the quiz you're giving All us. All right. 선택 약정, 약정. This is the chosen agreement contract, which we all have to sign when we sign up with a 통신사. And it's basically agreeing to use the service for a certain length of time. That's right. And usually one to three years. And you receive a discount accordingly. 선택 is to choose or choice. If you go to a restaurant, the waiter will say, 선택하셨나요? <laughs> have you chosen <laughs> you your menu? Do you decide what to eat? <laughs> 그쵸, 그쵸. And 약정 is a contract or agreement. Uh, for, and finally. Right. For a certain time, a for contract. For a certain time, time right. 위약금. 위약금 is a penalty fee. It's a fee for breaking the agreed t- time period. Right. So this goes even beyond, um, you know, our phone services as well. That's true. Yeah, there's different Anything. types of 위약금. When you have, uh, when you make an agreement, when you sign a contract and you break it. Right. You usually have to pay. Sure. 위약금. Yeah, and I wonder if our listeners out there, they have like, c o u p l 요금제도 있다고 들었어요. And if you break up, <laughs> <laughs> What happens? 곤란하죠. 약간 헤어지면 이걸 또 Do you continue using it? 그래서 약간 커플 그 통장 같은 것도 oh. 서로 가지 않아요. <laughs> What would you do if you break up? I know, oh, I know. My goodness. It gets quite messy. That's a dangerous thing. <laughs> it certainly is. Well, it looks like um, we've got so much that we've covered. Talking about... You know, mobile phones, ways to purchase mobile phones, ways that people have become a smartphone zombie. Smombi까지 알아봤는데요. Wondering if our listeners have, um, I guess, a, a preference. Do you like buying their phones as itself? Or do you like going through the 통신사 and getting uh, your service? In any case, it's time to reveal our answers. 오늘의 퀴즈 발표할 시간입니다. 약정 기간 만료 만료 전 계약을 해지하면 지급해야 하는 요금에 대해서 알아봤는데요. 7231님께서는 3번 위약금이요. 우연히 듣는 중인데 퀴즈 나와서 참여합니다. 이제 매일 들을 것 같나요? 가, 같아요. 방송 너무 유익하고 재밌네요. 라고 보냈습니다. Oh, I love first time listeners and first time messengers as well. Thanks for listening. 커피 쿠폰 드리겠습니다. 2450님께서는 3번 위약금. 약속을 깨서 내는 돈이죠. 저번 주에 2년 약정했는데 후회하고 있어요. 라고 보냈습니다. Last week, you did a two-year contract. 벌써 후회하면 어떡해요? <laughs> just not regretting or just not really pleased with uh, your choice there. 이것도 약간 그, if you change your phone also. 그러니까 plan만 바꿔도 위약금도 있고, phone 자체를 바꿔도 위약금도 생기는 일도 있더라고요. Ah, uh, if you have leftover installments. Right, it, it mm. depends on, you know, the agreement that mm-hmm. you choose. 그래서... 새로 폰이 어, 어, 나오면 그때 조금 더 후회를 <웃음> 후회가 하죠. 되고. Yeah. 7878님께서는 3번 위약금 <웃음> 영어로 <웃음> 쓰셨네요. Uh, congratulations, you got it right. 
7431님께서는 3번 위약금. 저 오늘 통신사랑 통화했는데 약정 끝나서 이제 위약금 낼 일이 없어졌어요. 라고 보냈습니다. Yeah, congratulations. Once you finish it, 괜히 약간 어, 시원해요. 그렇죠? 그렇기도 한데 then you have to sort of feel like should I start 아, the new one 되나? That's right. to get a discount That's because you get a it. discount. 맞아요. 맞아요. <웃음> 2848님께서는 정답은 3번이요. 위약금 너무 싫어요. 라고 보냈어요. 그렇죠? 좋아하는 사람이 어디 있겠어요? 싫죠. 묶어 있기 때문에. <웃음> 1584님께서는 3번 위약금. 2664님께서 위약금. 7878님께서는 3번 위약금. 마지막으로 9680님. 3번 위약금. 위약금이요 라고 보냈습니다. Congratulations to everyone. You got it Yay. right. The fee that you have to pay if you cancel the plan before the contract period ends is the 위약금. It's the cancellation fee. Cancellation fee. Wherever you go, you'll always have a cancellation fee. Well, thank you once again, Suyeon, for being for in the studio. Me. We'll have to see you next week. We shall.